Hey guys, finally it's sunny. Uh, I'm so grateful to say that I'm working with Blue Eddy. Uh, I'm gonna unbox this real fast and uh, we're gonna go put it to good use, but first I wanna show you what's inside. First up, we got a little uh, owner's manual. Next we have charging accessories. So a little charge pack. There's three ways to charge this thing, by the wall, car charger, or by solar panel. Boom. EB55 Blue Eddy. All right guys, let's take this thing and uh, we're actually gonna charge it up and then uh, see what we can do with it. Right now I'm powering the ring light and that's pulling 40 watts. And uh, now I'm gonna run this drill. I'm sure right over here. So it's able to power the, uh, the light and my drill out here to work. And uh, I've gotta hold this with two hands or else I'm gonna hurt myself. <laughs> All right, finally got the harmonic balancer pulled off. Uh, it's right here. It's filthy. Well, this is the other one I'm putting on there. So we got to get it cleaned up. We got my wire wheel out, uh, hooked up to the Blue Eddy. Uh, the only thing it's powering now is the light and this grinding wheel. Let's hit the button so we can see. It's been working for about two hours and I've only lost 20% of the battery. It's pulling 38 watts off the ring light. Let's hit this. Alright guys, so that pulled 400 watts. I'm afraid if I run it and the drill and the light at the same time that it's going to blow it, but uh, I'm going to give it a try just to see. I don't... If the light goes out, then it broke the breaker, so... Uh, there we go. Grand wheel here. Drill here. Obviously the light's being powered too. Well, I can't ask for much more of it than that. I was honestly happy that it was gonna run the grinding, the wire wheel, but uh, running the wire wheel plus the drill, plus the light, I mean, I could probably hook up the radio even, but um, that's pretty good. All right guys, so being able to use those tools, use a drill, use my grinding wheel, you know, anywhere that I need to, that's big for me, um, just having that power on the go. Uh, but one of the main reasons that I was interested in working with Blue Eddy is uh, I want to do some traveling in Aunt Sheila. And uh, right now I was kind of worried about how I was going to power everything. Um, I'm not as worried about my uh, own power as much as I'm worried about keeping batteries uh, charged for cameras and laptops charged and a phone and all that. And uh, I can charge some of that stuff off Aunt Sheila, but I really didn't want to put a strain on the charging system of the Volkswagen. So. Uh, let me show you right now what I've got charging. Alright, so I actually have two laptops that I use. Uh, I mostly use this one for editing. This one I still, this is my old laptop, but I still use it for, for uh, photo editing photos and stuff. Um, so I'm charging both of those guys right now. I'm charging my phone right here on this port, which there's still three more ports that you can use. And then uh, we're powering Lindsay's phone. There's actually a charger built into the top of this thing. Boom. So we don't even need to use up a plug. So if you have multiple USB devices, you could just plug them all in here. Still charge your phone on top. 
I'll have to look up the math because I don't really know how to figure it. But right now we're pulling about 80 watts, 537 watt hours. So that'll tell us how many, how long we could charge all four of these devices. All right, guys. So with all four of those devices charging, I still have one, two, three open USB slots and still have two other power slots. This thing could draw a lot more power than this. So it's going to be more than adequate what I need to charge all my devices and keep me, uh, keep me filming, keep me editing. While I'm on the road. All right, guys. So I showed you some of the stuff that this thing will power. Um, when they contacted me about the EB55, it was one of their smaller machines, and they do have bigger machines. If you have more power needs, and if you have more power needs than what this thing might be capable of, then they do have um, bigger boxes. So check out their website and make sure um, what fits what you're looking for. But what I really loved about the EB55 is the size. This thing is small. I like doing a lot of hiking. You guys know I like to hammock and and, and uh, sleep in the woods and stuff like that. And this thing's small enough I can just throw it in a bag. So uh, right now I was thinking about what to do tonight. And we're going to probably go for a little night hike in the woods. Um, take some star photos if the sky stays clear. And um, I was going to show you guys that I can just throw this thing in my backpack, load it up, and hike it out in the woods with me. It goes the EB55. It honestly goes in easier than my cover hose. <laughs> well, spoke too soon. Alright. And I'm just gonna pack an extra jacket just in case it gets cold. And a blanket. Sleeping bag, I guess, but we'll use it as a blanket. Two hammocks. My buddy Jay at Almost Homestead gave me this bag and I love it to death. Alright. Now, lay it on the side. I can hike with this many, many miles, so. Um, see, it's just a normal hiking pack. It feels comfortable in there. Uh, I got quite a bit of stuff in there with it, so. Uh, even later, I'm gonna pack on the ring light and we'll go out in the woods and uh, see what we can do with it. Hey guys, so I made it down to the river. I got my camera. I got the ring light being powered by the Blue Eddy. Um, Usually when I do night photos, I gotta light the whole scene with a flashlight, which is really hard. But now that I have the Blue Eddy, I can light this and uh, it's way better. So let's take a couple photos and I'm gonna show you how well we can light the landscape um, using the, the ring light with the Blue Eddy. I can take shots that are closer up at night, but it's really hard to uh, light a whole landscape um, without having the amount of light that I have. All right, let's take a look at our photo. Boom. All right, guys, so I'm not gonna edit the photo at all. Here's the photo exactly as I took it in the picture. All right, guys, so I never would have been able to take a, um, I never would have been able to take a photo like that without being able to use a light uh, as big as this one and um, that takes electricity. So that's one more thing I'm gonna be able to do with the Blue Eddy is um, use, uh, use bigger lights for photography. So, uh, all right guys, I'm freezing, so I'm gonna get out of here. Guys, one thing I didn't show you all about the Blue Eddy, it actually has a light built in on the back as well. Uh, you can't you see it, but I used it in the dark and it lights up pretty well well enough to see around your feet anyway um, 
I want to say again, thank you to Blue Eddie for giving me the opportunity to try out your box. Um, what I really needed was a power source that I could provide on the go, that I could charge with solar or with a vehicle, and um, and you did it, you know. So uh, it's really lightweight, provides enough power for me. Um, we tried to run Lindsay's hair blow dryer, and I ran it for a minute, but not on high. So it's got its it's got its uh, capabilities, you know. But like I said, they do have some bigger models on their website as well. Uh, Blue Eddie's gonna give me a coupon code uh, so you guys can use it if y'all make any purchases from Blue Eddie. And uh, they'll give me a little kickback for that as well. So uh, down in the description, there'll be a, uh, a code in case you're interested in purchasing. And uh, either way, I appreciate you watching the video and we'll see you in the next one.